A mom has asked um, how soon she will recover after birth. And her main concern is, will she be able to be up and about as, you know, within the first month of her birth? And the answer to this question is generally, for your body's sake, we say six weeks for recovery. There are people who recover faster than others. There are people who will actually recover slower. So it just depends on how active you are as a person and also how active you have been during the pregnancy. Now, for people who are very active, the recovery is generally very fast because their muscles are a lot more toned, so they heal faster. For women who've had a natural birth, of course, the recovery is a lot faster than if you've had a C-section just because there's a wound involved and the wound takes a while to recover. But if you've had a natural birth, by the end of the second week, you actually start to feel very energetic and you can carry on with your um, activities. Uh, for a C-section, we say give yourself up to a month. That's when you'll start to feel a lot better. Whichever the case, please try not to indulge in activities that will strain your muscles because you're not just recovering from pregnancy, I mean from birth, but you're recovering from pregnancy as well. A lot of your muscles and bones and a lot of your organs were displaced and changed by the pregnancy and all that needs to come back together and that's where the six weeks comes in. I want to say, especially for women who are very sporty, who swim and jog and run and, you know, go to the gym, you tend to feel very energetic, especially after your natural birth, that by the third week you almost feel like going back to the gym or going back to exercise. Please take it slow. And one little thing, maybe little, but it can be a great guide is don't exercise until your bleeding stops. Once your bleeding stops, then you can start gradually exercising. Don't Bleeding doesn't stop today and tomorrow you're at the gym. Just gradually start with very slow exercises. Start with a walk. Uh, go have a swim and don't do too many laps. But overall, listen to your body. Your body will always guide you. If you strain it, it will ache or it will be uncomfortable. And when it's uncomfortable, then you know it's time to stop. Don't strain, don't stress. You'd rather wait for the six weeks, recover fully, start your activities gradually, then start your activities early, and then by six weeks you're breaking down because your muscles and your bones and your organs are not functional because of the stress you have brought in. The other thing to note about exercise is that if you start vigorous exercise, it tends to reduce on your milk. And once your milk flow reduces, then you know your baby's not having enough. So then you might have to give them something else and you don't want to do that too early. So try avoid vigorous exercises, especially if you're uh, breastfeeding. And if you note that whatever exercises you're doing is making your milk low, uh, flow low, just reduce on it and just go very slow on it. But it's good to exercise. Just exercise at the right time. Thank you very much for watching. One of the things we do during our second uh, class is teach you some exercises that you can uh, do while you're pregnant, but they also are very beneficial for you after the baby is born. So there are gentle exercises that you can even do at home to tone back your muscles after your baby is born. So sign up for our next childbirth class and we will be happy to take you through this. Thank you very much. <laughs>